been first clear night tonight for about five and a half weeks and we've got a run of clear forecast weather hopefully um, so I'm carrying on with the project I started all them weeks back <clears throat> only obtained about half an hour or definitely under an hour's worth of integration time on that so I'm right now just topping up uh, some more data on that target <clears throat> we're going for the Christmas tree cluster and the cone nebula before Orion finally disappears from our uh, winter skies uh, it took us a little while to get set up tonight we did start a bit later than planned due to a couple of setup issues a couple of glitches in the software um, some updates were applied and then um, loading some of the driver software into there was uh, a little bit hit and miss to start with but um, everything's working as it should we've even successfully done an auto meridian flip uh, and we went hands-free today. We didn't use any hand controller, we just used EQ mod to do our star alignment and then asked it to sync those um, right ascension and declination uh, coordinates to the mount. So if anybody wants to see a little run through on doing that it is quite uh, handy and very uh, convenient not to have to do that alignment with the handset. Uh, I can. It's and it really isn't as complicated as it might sound because I, I remember thinking when I'd heard EQ Mod was capable, thinking that was probably quite a technically uh, challenging task to do. But it's it's going well so far. Touch wood. been taking five minute exposures on HA just because there was some localized light pollution coming from uh, some neighboring windows and then I will be switching over to the uh, broadband uh, filters uh, as you can see here it, it's all running away behind me so hopefully the forecast stays with us, a nice clear sky stays with us, um, and once everyone's gone to bed, the data will improve. <laughs> so anyway, let's jump in and we'll show you uh, just what we're running on this software, and if you're out there tonight after a long, long bout of bad weather, and good luck to you too. Keep trying, keep getting out there, any opportunity and, and uh, capture yourselves some beautiful targets as well. Anyway, Wayne's Cave out. Hi there guys, welcome to Wayne's Cave. Just a quick example of the solver working here in ECOS and K-STARS. We're running the new ASTAP solver. Uh, it's a brilliant bank of data that any field of view can um, be downloaded and, and the solver runs. It's always quick and efficient and I'm going to try and load an image here in, in the solver tab in ECOS. I'll click in load and slew. So I'm going to try and load an image I've previously got tonight. Um, here in my Stellamate folder of pictures. This is my folder. And that 30 second image is the one I want. Thank 
It's a starting solver. We've got an error of 417 arc seconds. We're trying to get within 11. Here's the images, it's matching to our, our file. So we're getting there. Here, we're within six arc seconds. You can see that was ever so quick. And we were out by 4,000 odd arc seconds. And that's it. This, you can use this solver just the same by capture and solve. Um, <clears throat> just to ordinary coordinates that are stored within the Hi guys, just a quick look at our schedule. Here you can see the HA is uh, just complete now. that We've been running while our neighbor's lights were on. This is a, an example preview of uh, one of our five minute HAs. It's at 75, gain of 75 and offset 15. Um, pretty good detail. Um, hopefully, it will just boost out that nice HA um, gaseous regions in, in the final image. And so uh, we'll be moving on to uh, to broadband filters now. Um, So I'll just choose the filter and the exposure length for, for these ones with the luminance. Uh, we're, we're doing obviously a, a shorter, a lot shorter exposure. Uh, I'm going to do low counts. Make sure I save all my files in the right folders. Uh, with the right details that I want to save, like the filter chosen. Um, also records what time and then I, I can suss out what session those pictures were recorded in uh, were taken in because this is over a, a, a two or three nights of during short windows that we get here unfortunately in the UK so we come down and we put we select our RGB built RGB filters excuse me uh, and I'm increasing them up because that's not letting in such a broad spectrum of light like the luminance filter is and um, and again we apply that I'm, I'm just going to do low total numbers to record and then if I can get a chance to do the whole sequence again if the if the skies stay with us I'll do it again at least I'll have a set of RGB hopefully complete and it's simple as that you just click on the plus sign to add in the details you've, you've just uh, selected on the left uh, you can see there all the exposure ISO well gain levels on this ASI 1600 camera and the same for blue and we add it in all right guys well let's see how this pans out Thanks for everybody watching and, and listening and uh, all trying to pick up tips and, and ideas. So if we all share and learn together, we'll get step by step, hopefully more wonderful images. All right, guys. Bye for now. Well then, guys, that's it from Wayne's Cave for now. We're going to carry on sucking up some more data. While it's lovely and dark and still and crisp out there, it's looking good, so fingers crossed the picture ends up telling its own story. Uh, clear skies to all you out there that's also plugging away. Uh, thanks a lot for following along. Don't forget, 
tap on that subscribe, it's totally free. And if you hit the bell icon, you'll get uh, notifications when new content's up. Weather pending, of course. Uh, it's well worth it, there's gonna be some interesting videos coming up I've got planned. Coming into spring, I'm gonna be showing some uh, galaxy hunting methods and uh, also some daytime walkthroughs of, of my setup and how I've designed it to function for, for my needs and uh, the positives and maybe negatives of that type of rig. So follow along again. Hope to see you all here soon with some more clear skies. Let's keep at it and uh, all the best. Bye for now.